In 2002, Wayne Houchin developed a unique card transposition effect. He called it French Kiss. And in 2009, he published the basic handling. Since then, it's become one of the most popular effects in card magic, as well as the gayest trick ever invented. I know, for me to call anything gay is very fresh considering I'm wearing a pink handkerchief around my neck. But you know what? I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part here to prevent other people from catching my sick and disgusting germs. Do you know the type of germs that I house inside of my body? They're germs that you couldn't handle on your best day. So if you're unfamiliar with the trick in question here, it's a very simple card trick. You pick a card, they pick a card, they sign the card, you sign your card, you fold the card up, you put it in your mouth, they fold their card up, they put it in their mouths, you guys kiss, and then both cards change places. Even explaining the effect makes me want to punch a small puppy. And in concept, it's a great trick. It's a fantastic trick. Probably invented from the caveman days where uh, cavemen did it with leaves. They probably used blood and, and uh, made, uh, made it look like you transposed leaves back in the caves. So it's a simple concept, however, taken to a whole nother level just based on the fact that you are trying desperately to bring together the effect of kissing causing the actual transposition itself. Now in the actual download, Wayne does go over different methods of doing this that don't involve necessarily kissing the participant. However, the name of the trick, French kiss, kind of gives up itself. The point of the trick is you're trying to get a smooch. You're trying to get a smooch and you're using the vehicle of the card trick to try to hopefully increase your chances of getting that smooch. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of everything you stand for. I feel like if you've ever done this trick to anybody, they definitely deserve to me too you. You deserve to be me too -ed. Now, right now, you guys should be seeing some uh, excellent B-roll of different magicians performing this trick from Jarek120 to uh, Daniel Fernandez to anybody else that I could find on YouTube doing this atrocity, this tragedy of a card trick. If you look at the uh, advert, on uh, theory11.com it says this has been called the most intimate effect in magic performed around the world by notable magicians like cyril jiff joshua J, dynamo and dan white you've named like five attractive people that's not going to be the typical clientele of this card trick this right here is going to be the typical clientele of this particular card trick and the type of person that is going to perform this the most not somebody like cyril takayama who literally if he were in front of me right now, I would be hard pressed not to jump on top of him. Let's do a little bit of a thought experiment. Let's visualize something here. So I want you to close your eyes and imagine this particular situation taking place where you're in front of an attractive female and you say, you know what? I'm gonna hit her with a French kiss. This is my chance, this is my opportunity. So you have her pick a card from the deck. She picks a card, she signs it. You pick a card from the deck, you sign it. You then instruct her to fold her card up you subsequently fold your card up. You then instruct her, do me a favor, take that card and stick it in your mouth. And she says, no, that's gross. And you go, no, it's uh, how we do the trick. In order for the trick to happen, you have to put the card in your mouth. And she subsequently says, no, that's gross. I saw you take the cards out of your pocket. I saw you pull that piece of lint from the top of the card box. And then you uh, took the cards out of the box and had me pick a card. I don't trust where your pocket's been. Do you even wash your pocket, you gross fuck? And you go, please, seriously, the trick won't work unless you put the card in your mouth. She then decides reluctantly to put the card inside of her mouth. And then you go, perfect. So now you have to kiss me. And she says, no, gross, that's disgusting. Why would I do that? At that point, she puts the card out of her mouth and she decides to walk away. That seems like a common occurrence with this particular card trick. That seems like the type of thing that would happen more often than not when doing this particular card trick, especially given that the person doing the card trick more likely than not looks like this. Is that worth it to put yourself in that scenario? Is it worth it for the effect to put yourself in the likelihood of that scenario occurring? I don't think so. Now, when I say that this is the gayest card trick of all time, I don't mean that in the uh, 2020 sense of the word. I don't mean that in the you're allowed to get married, you're allowed to have kids, you're allowed to do whatever you want sense of the word. I mean it in the 1990 middle school way. 
where you come into class with your shirt tucked in and your friend stands up on top of the desk and goes, ha, you're gay. That's how I mean it. That's how I mean the word gay. So don't get offended. All right. It's just a word. You can't handle a word. So it's the worst trick I think of all time. Somebody asked me a while ago, hey, Piggy, what's your least favorite card trick? What trick do you dislike the most? And I couldn't come up with one. I couldn't come up with one. Honestly, I was hard pressed to think of a trick that I didn't like. Even a 21 card trick has its merits. Even these tricks that require these long methods where it's a lot of counting, a lot of back and forth, they still have their own merits. This trick has no merit whatsoever. You are gross. You are disgusting. Stop it. Especially now with the Rona, there's no reason why you should be doing this trick. There's no reason why anybody should be acquiescing to your disgusting demand and putting a card in their mouth and then giving you a kiss. First of all, it's a, it's a gay way of sneaking a kiss from somebody. It's, it's very gay. Even though you're probably kissing somebody of the opposite sex, it's still fairly gay. I've never thought that magic would be so terrible that you would be able to kiss another person, that you are proposally trying to kiss a person of the opposite gender and it's still gayer than blowing nine guys in a row. Think about that for a little bit. It's gayer to do this trick than to fillet 10 other men. Assuming, of course, that you are a male, you could be a female and do this trick, of which case, why? Why bother? So I just wanted to rant on this trick as the worst trick of all time. And Wayne Houchin is a very, very skilled magician. He's come up with a lot of great stuff throughout the years. He's a very talented magician. But Wayne, why did you give this to the world? Why did you decide to tarnish your name and give this to the planet? I understand, all right? You're trying to make a buck. We're all here trying to make that nut. You know what I mean? Speaking of which, you should check out the Pit Cake Magic Academy. $5 a month gets you two videos every single week going over card, going over coin stuff, going over pretty much everything you need to become the best magician of all time. $5 a month, over 500 videos already there. What, huh? You get access to all of them the moment you sign up. So why not sign up? Why not sign up and check it out? So listen, Wayne, I know you're trying to get a buck, all right? I know that this would sell. I know that this is something that magicians would try to perform. And some of them have performed it well. Some of them have performed it well. But these are the ones that shower. These are the ones that have good social skills. You're giving this out to a cesspool of people that don't even know what detergent is. Could you imagine the catastrophic results? Oh boy, I would love to see a fail compilation of this trick being done and failing, but nobody's gonna upload that. Nobody's gonna upload this trick failing because they wanna they wanna give the illusion that they're as, as attractive as you performing the trick or as attractive as Cyril Takayama performing the trick. That's almost illegal. That's almost illegal. Cyril could get away with anything. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for sticking through this uh, this rant. I just wanted to, to help out the community here by having you guys avoid a trick that really, really shouldn't be done. I want to bring awareness to a trick that really should have never existed to begin with. So I hope that I did my due diligence here in improving the art and increasing the economy. Leave your thoughts down below. Leave your thoughts down below. I'd love to uh, read your opinions and uh, hear your experiences with this card trick. Meanwhile, I'm going to go figure out different ways to hold the burp in for the last 20 seconds of the video so I could allow the video to actually have the little end card uh, and, and not have any sort of problem with the YouTube side of things. So that's what I'm doing. What are you doing? You know, it's weird. The autofocus system on this lens looks like a puckering butthole. That's weird.